I never left California. I was activated. I was in National Guard. I was activated in the United States Army uh, in uh, June 25th, was the beginning of the Korean War of 1950. And what we were going to do to my, my friend Jerry Shupp, who was my best pal in school, mm -hmm. I joined the Marines. And he was sent to, Maria, uh, to Korea. I never went there. I, I got hurt. I was discharged. I was here. In the war, so, and I did films about Korea. However, that's a big film called Battle Zone, Allied artist film with the great star John Hodiak, Steve McNally, uh, well me. This Friday will be the 60th anniversary of that, where we were all mustered into the Korean War. Jerry joined the Marines. I was because uh, I was National Guard activated in the United States Army. I went down to the railroad terminal to see Jerry off, and I never saw him again. He died. And so this poem was then sent to me, predicting his death. It's all written in rather Rudyard Kipling stanzas, which now might sound strange, but are very noble and wonderful in my mind. And this is Jerry's poem found after his death in Korea. You can have your army khaki, you can have your navy blue, but here's the kind of fighter I'll introduce to you. His uniform is different. It's the best you've ever seen. The enemy calls him Devil Dog, but his real name is Marine. He trained in San Diego, a place in no man's land. He took the woe and hell of boot and came out a better man. He stalked the plains of Pendleton and there learned the arts of war, then staggered out on liberty to gripe about the core. He sailed the broad Pacific aboard a swabby ship. His stomach felt the ocean roar with every drunken dip. He didn't go to breakfast, and he nibbled evening chow. He learned the salty ways of men stretched over a rolling bow. He spent a night of liberty in far-off old Japan. He learned the art of orient love and drank with a slant-eyed man. The sake and the incense, they reeled his head about. He barely made it to the docks before the ship pulled out. He battled in Korea, the land that God forgot, where the snow is 60 inches deep and the sun is scorching hot. He climbed a million mountains and twice as many hills. And in between the shrieking shells, he took malaria pills. From Inchon Strip to No Name Ridge to the frozen reservoir, he marched with 20,000 men to the frozen hell of war. He blessed the day that Inter left, and when the summer came, he sweat his aching body dry, then drowned it in the rain. He was waiting for rotation, the like he'd never see, while playing war with the Chinamen and swatting flies and fleas. He climbed the hills, he took the woe, he glowed in victory, but the bravest thing he ever did was to down the deadly three. Now, the deadly three have taken their toll on more than one Marine. It's corned beef hash and meat and beans and noodles that make them scream. They come in dry sea rations that tear a man in two. And for some good old stateside chow, he'd throw the book at you. He fell on a hill in Korea, one dread and misty morn, a hill where bullets and shrapnel have left their dreadful scorn. They laid him in a stretcher, they laid him where he fell. He had finished his bloody cruise into this fiery hell. It's a great privilege to be able to read Jerry's poem found on his effects after he died in Korea on this June 25th, the 60th anniversary of the start of that terrible war, terrible war for him. Well, Jack Larson, they say the World War II generation is the greatest generation, and you're part of that too. The Korean War was part of that. Your friend Jerry Shupp, God bless him. Thank you so much, Jack for reading this poem. Thank you. For putting it on YouTube and the Huffington Post for all prosperity yeah. and all the future. He'll, he'll never be forgotten. That's Sorry. what I would like. I would like 
Jerry to be remembered. I mean, people know me because I've had the life and the career I've had. They would know him had he lived, but he died in Korea and left that beautiful poem. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to have Jerry remembered on the 60th anniversary of the breakout of the Korean War. You're welcome. I couldn't have said it Thank better. you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you.